Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a programming language that's been making serious waves, Rust. Now, Rust might not be the first name that pops into your head when you think hacking tools, but trust me, it's worth a closer look. For years, C and C++ have been the go-to languages for performance-critical applications. But they come with a trade-off, memory safety. Hackers love exploiting memory vulnerabilities, but developers crave stability. Enter Rust, a language that offers the blazing speed of C slash C++ with the memory safety of a modern language. Here's the magic, Rust avoids garbage collection, a process that can slow down other languages. Instead, it uses a compile-time memory management system. This not only prevents crashes but also makes the code incredibly efficient. See this? Rust's ownership system ensures memory is always properly allocated and deallocated. No more memory leaks or dangling pointers, a hacker's dream, right? Well, not quite. So, Rust isn't a magic bullet for hackers. But for those willing to learn its intricacies, it offers a powerful and stable platform for building tools. Learning Rust has a steeper curve than some languages, but the payoff can be huge. It's a future-proof skill that opens doors to exciting job opportunities and allows you to build high-performance, reliable software, ethically, of course. Rust is a powerful tool for ethical hackers too. Penetration testers use it to identify vulnerabilities in systems before malicious actors can exploit them. By understanding the tools hackers might use, ethical hackers can stay ahead of the curve and keep our systems safe. So, is Rust the next big thing in hacking? It's certainly a language to watch. But remember, the power lies in the hands of the programmer. Rust can be used for good or for bad, the choice is yours.